Hi, I'm Christina Whitney, a studio educator with Handy Quilter. I have with me today the flip side template. So let's take an up close look at it. You can see that it has arcs. And this is the really exciting part about this particular ruler is that when you stitch out on either side of the ruler, it's the same arc. So the arc of the actual ruler is different, but the stitch line is the same, which makes it fabulous for being able to flip it either direction, hence the name, the flip side. Okay, I wanna show you some different designs that we can make using the flip side template. On the template, we've got lines that are going horizontally, and those are great lines to use to line everything up. So if you look on here, I've got a chalk line that I drew on there, and I just line the ruler up, and I pick whichever line I want to use that fits my space, and then I'm ready, and I can stitch right along there. Stopping point on the line, shift the ruler over, stitch around, and then doing the same thing, coming back, and you can either flip the ruler over like I just did, or the other option is to bring it down and stitch underneath. Okay, this next design is pretty much the same thing, except I picked a different line on the ruler, so it's not quite as deep, and I just repeated that across, and again, coming back on the bottom, and then I just took an echo foot and echoed around the design that I'd already stitched, and it gives it that kind of a channel look going through there. So that was a fun one. Let's go ahead and look at this particular design. I drew a chalk line all the way down the middle here. And then again, I used my ruler lining it up, going all the way across the top. For this one, I flipped it over so that I could use those grid lines again on the other side, traveled back. And I wanted this to be a continuous design so I added this little loopy thing in here that would get me all the way back to here if I wanted to repeat that same design going all the way across. So that's a couple of ideas that you can use in sashings and borders. Let's look at this design here. Now this would be a great design for, um, say, a background fill, or if you wanted to do a larger one, you could even do it as an all over edge to edge design. But this is pretty much a clamshell, except using the arc ruler, or not the arc ruler, but using the arc shape. Traveling up, coming back, lining up those center points. So it's not your traditional clamshell, but it gives you something a little bit different, something fun to do to add to your quilts. Okay, a couple other things that you can do. You can do a curved cross hatch, again, using the flip side ruler. And remember, you can use either side of the ruler when you're stitching out. On this area here, I just stitched the line, moved the ruler up, stitched again, moved the ruler up, and just kind of echoed through that shape. So I wanna show you how to stitch using this ruler. So before we do any stitching, I just wanna remind you to have your ruler base on, have a sure foot, which has the higher profile, and that higher profile will help prevent the ruler from hopping over. And also use your handy grip if you want to have that extra stability and have it stick to your fabric a little bit better. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna bring the machine over. I've already drawn a starting point here where I want my next section to go. Okay, so what I'm wanting to do is I'm going to stitch another arc going this direction. So I have two options. I can turn the ruler this direction and stitch on this side of the ruler or I can turn the ruler over on this side and stitch along that side. It's fabulous, so you can pick which area fits your hand best. So sometimes with the rulers it gets a little awkward, so I'm actually going to put it on this side of my foot, and the ruler has a center line, and I've got a center line drawn on my quilt top. So I'm gonna hold that down, 
and we're going to stitch along. See how nicely that stitches out? Now, if I wanted to continue and make that full melon shape, I could bring the ruler on the inside or again on the outside, whichever works. So I want to have it on the outside. Got it lined up with my center point. Let's see if I can keep my hand out of your way so you can see a little bit better. And that is our melon shape using the flip side template. So thank okay. you for joining me. This is the flip side template. Have fun with it and enjoy quilting.